Hey, hello, you're stuck in travel with Wolf. Got a few minutes riffing on IT and IT security today, looking at Blue Keep two months on. Blue Keep was the vulnerability, RDP vulnerability, that allows attackers, if RDP is on the internet, to remotely connect up to your system and within a matter of seconds, 22 according to one published demo, uh, get complete and total access from scratch. Like, I've got nothing but your IP address. Oh, look, now I own your box. Uh, and it's something that we've been thinking about for the past couple of months might trigger a worm, right? Where's the WannaCry worm, the very quickly spreading worm? And this is because when the vulnerability was announced, there was something like a million affected hosts on the internet. Uh, according to a, a report released and it's in the news today from BitSite, uh, that number has now dropped to a little bit over 800,000. 800,000 boxes sitting there. Now, point number one, patch please <laughs> in in two months about 20 percent of the effective computers have been patched that's a good thing uh, but we still have a long way to go and so oftentimes whenever these vulnerabilities come out it takes a long time to patch because a lot of people don't know that they're uh, affected they're not monitoring it they don't have visibility etc etc uh, but please 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 if you've got one of these boxes patch them now for all our sake should a, a worm hit uh, point number two, and really the, the broader tip for you is this. When we talk about having multiple layers of defense, this is the reason why. When some of these, these vulnerabilities come up, um, which can allow an attacker, again, to take complete unauthenticated access of your system, um, the people who are like, yeah, that's cool, but I've got my RDP behind a firewall. The people who are like, yeah, that's cool, but I'm publishing RDP behind, uh, behind a VPN or behind Citrix or behind... Um, a, uh, you know, internet facing uh, reverse authentication proxy, any of these sort of things. People are like, oh, that's, that's, that's cool, I'll, I'll patch it, but I don't have to panic because I've got a layer of defense there. So oftentimes um, we talk about the unpatched vulnerability that, oh, day, it's a hit, and oh, no, now we've got to run around and we don't know what's going to happen and will Microsoft patch it or not. But if we were to build our defenses from the get-go, with the idea of one, a vulnerability is going to occur, and two, it's going to take a long time to patch. On average, 38 days, by the way, in case you're curious, for most uh, enterprises, uh, home users and small businesses, different story. But for most enterprises, 38 days is how long a unpatched vulnerability will, will survive. Um, you need to build an architect security with the idea that phone will happen and it will be open for over a month sometimes two and uh and in doing that having those layers uh you can buy yourself some time to do other things and hopefully not get caught up in what we think will be a blue keep worm that will come any moment now like right now or now or in a minute <laughs> What do you think? What do you think uh, of this blue key? Why haven't we seen a worm yet? Hit me up in comments, social media. Cheers.